another vlog i am back home in new york after a busy travel week if you guys haven't seen that vlog you should definitely go and watch it my first vlog of 2023 and now i'm back today is saturday actually um i took yesterday off of vlogging because i really just needed to get back into my grind and also finish editing up the video so i'm back at it today I don't know, I'm just like really in a vlogging mood and um, I also want to kind of like get back into the routine of having videos filmed and just like ready to go in case work comes up. You guys know that I like to be like one or two videos ahead of schedule so I'm trying to get back into that grind. I'm gonna head downstairs and do a cardio workout. I'm, I don't know, it's like always sensitive to bring up these topics and if you're triggered by diet conversations or weight conversations or just body conversation in general, then I can put a timestamp up that you can skip to so you don't have to listen to me talking about it. But I am um, just trying to get back into a really good workout routine. Um, I also feel like with the holidays, it's a little tough. And sometimes for me with work, it can be tough, but I'm just very moted moted <laughs> motive, motivated to, um, get into like my best shape ever and i don't know i feel like we've kind of gotten into this place in the world and with social media where it's kind of like tough and almost frowned upon talking about wanting to be fit and wanting to be healthy and wanting to be like in your best shape ever but that's just kind of where i'm at in my life and i feel like that's totally okay to want to be your best as long as you're going about it in a healthy way so that's what i'm gonna do um i'm gonna go down and do 12 3 30 if you guys don't know what 12 3 30 is it's basically an incline walk for 30 minutes and the incline is set at 12 and your speed is at three i always try and go a little bit higher like 3.2 or 3.3 um and yeah i do it for 30 minutes a lot of you guys will know that i love class pass i started class pass a couple months ago and do probably three classes a week on there mainly uh pilates reformer but I also just want to get some more cardio back into my life. So I'm going to be doing a lot more incline walks and things like that going forward. So I'll bring you guys along. Other than that, I've already kind of shared all my intentions with you guys. The only thing that I haven't told you is that we're doing sort of like a no spend January, which I've done before on my channel. It's basically just a month where you kind of really rein in your spending really take a look at the things that you're buying that you don't necessarily need. I don't buy clothes. I don't buy like anything other than necessities and like the occasional dinner with friends because I still think that going out and socializing and spending time with friends and loved ones is important. But yeah, no clothes, no excessive spending. Um, try and cook and like make your own meals as much as possible. And yeah, that's kind of it, I think. So those are the only two things that I kind of wanted to share with you guys this morning. I'm going to get into it. I'm going to go do my workout and then um, I think I'm going to run to the grocery store right after and just do like a big grocery shop for the week. I just came back from the grocery store. I also just made another coffee um, and thought I would show you my grocery haul. I got a couple of baking things because I want to start making some stuff with my KitchenAid. I really want to make zucchini bread. And so I got a couple of zucchinis here and stocked up on almond flour, uh, baking soda. These I got for a different recipe. And then I also got some pancake mix, which we had with my family in Canada and loved. If you guys are gluten-free or if, even if you're not gluten-free and you just want really good pancake mix, this is by far the best one. I love it. Then I just got some staples, avocados, lemon, two little yogurts. I like to buy the individual ones just so I don't like over serve myself. And these were actually on sale. Um, and then I also got some tomatoes, smoked salmon. I also got a cucumber for salad. Bananas, which I hope are going to ripen soon so I can use them for baking and smoothies. Some golden potatoes, chicken, lettuce, 
I love the spring mix. And then I also got this bag of frozen berries for smoothies and things like that. Making myself my favorite easy lunch salad. It's a Greek salad with tomatoes, cucumbers, mixed greens, Kalamata olives and just like a simple olive oil balsamic dressing and then I put some chicken on top This still needs to go for like another two minutes and that's gonna be my lunch Good morning Happy Monday I told myself I would be downstairs in the gym at 7 and it's 6.57 so we're basically on schedule it is so hard to get up and out of bed one when it's cold outside and two when it's dark outside but I just know I'm gonna feel good after and I'm gonna be so happy that I got it done this early in the day so let's do it Hour. Um, I'm gonna make myself a quick breakfast and then I have to go to work. I'm only working a half day today, which is really nice. And then uh, I'm seeing, seeing quite a few friends today, actually. I'm meeting up with Chloe for coffee. She is my friend from Canada from like 10 years ago. When I very first moved to New York, she was here as well. And now we're both living in the same city again. So we're gonna catch up and then tonight I have a little girls dinner that'll be fun too nothing more satisfying than a perfect avocado something that i was thinking about while i was doing my incline walk is that these type of cardio workouts and like low impact exercises are really great for multitasking and so if this is something that you've been wanting to get into but you just struggle with the time or you get bored or you like have a hard time getting to the gym you have to find something that's gonna make you want to go. And for me, something that really helps is saving a favorite YouTuber or saving like a favorite podcast or um, I personally get a lot of joy <laughs> out of like making lists and planning things out and I don't know, random things like finding music for reels or music for YouTube or just like planning out YouTube ideas you know like there's so many things that you could do during that time those are some things that make it easier for me to get on there because I actually now because I have an activity that I like to do I look forward to the workout and so it's just like one way to not trick yourself into going but just make the idea of going a little bit more enjoyable because I don't know if you guys agree with me but I'm I think the hardest part about going to the gym, especially in the morning when it's dark and cold, is actually getting there. And then once you're there, once you're in the exercise, once you're working out, it's really not that bad. It's just like getting there. That's the battle. I feel super lucky that all I have to really do is go downstairs. I don't even have to leave the building, um, which that is even harder from what I remember living in my past building for so long. Anyway, I'm gonna go eat my breakfast and then just get ready for work. Done work. Half days are the best. I'm walking to Joe and the Juice, gonna meet Chloe there, get coffee, get a sandwich, so I'm starving. And um, I'm gonna catch up, I'm excited to see her. the next day I've been a little bit of a bad vlogger because I had a bunch of errands that I ran this morning but I forgot my camera so um, I just had to vlog that with my phone I had to return some joggers that I ordered one of my gifts for Christmas was a Lululemon gift card and I saw these joggers that I really wanted I can actually show them to you later if 
they're not in the wash they might be in the wash um but i ordered them in two different sizes and one of them came a few days ago and the other arrived yesterday and i ended up keeping the first size that i got so i just returned the other pair then i went to the library because i was telling you guys at the end of the year that i really wanted to get a library card so that i could use the libby app uh, if you guys haven't heard of this app i only heard of it maybe like two weeks ago or so but if you get a library card and you hook it up to this app you can rent books through the app and read them on your kindle i started this book it's called maybe you should talk to someone um there were two other books that I wanted to read, but they just weren't available yet. And the only downside to this app is that they go by the same structure as an actual library. And so if the book isn't available in physical copy, you can't also you also can't read it as a Kindle. I've just put holds on those two other books and I'll share them with you once I've read them. If you guys are interested, I can leave a link to download the app. It's so easy. If you already have a library card, you can just enter the number and connect it to the local one in your city if you don't have one you just have to go into the library closest to you and then you can enter the card and that's what allows you to borrow the books and you can either borrow them in physical or you can send them to your kindle anyway i thought that that might be helpful to share in case anybody else wants to start reading more and potentially save money on buying books i feel like books are something that is worth investing in because it's you know you're increasing your knowledge and you're obviously learning something but it can still get expensive and if there's ways to save on that and rent them um, even in New York like I, I don't have space for any more books and so it doesn't really make sense for me to be buying them when I could be renting them saving money and saving space and so um, I'm very excited I'll let you guys know how I like it over time after that I just went to a casting and now I'm home, I'm pretty much free the rest of the afternoon. Um, and then tonight my boyfriend and I are actually going to Broadway. We're seeing Hamilton, which I'm so excited about. I haven't been to a Broadway show in a very long time. Hamilton is just one of those iconic shows that I've always wanted to see, and so I'm very stoked. Um, I really wanted to bake something with you guys today. I actually wanted to make a zucchini bread, but I unfortunately wasn't able to buy a loaf tin in person. I went to Bed Bath & Beyond the other day looking for a loaf tin because I already had to go there to just buy some of my everyday products and they basically had every baking product you would ever need except for a loaf tin. So I ended up ordering one on Amazon um, but it hasn't been delivered yet. It's supposed to arrive tonight. So I'm going to have to put that off until the next vlog but I think instead I'm going to make this cookie skillet it's by rachel's good eats she's one of my favorite people i made a lot of her recipes already on the channel um but i made this a couple years ago and it was so good it's also healthy it's all like healthier alternatives it's made with honey coconut oil um she uses cashew butter i'm gonna use almond butter and what else almond flour, vanilla extract, and then chocolate chips, which I also have. I'm waiting for this reel to hurry up so I can show you guys. So I think I'm going to make that instead. It's also less work. <laughs> and so that way I can kind of ease myself into using my, my mixer. So um, I'm going to get started on that. Then I'm also going to make a coffee. When Avery and I went to Seattle over Thanksgiving we spent a few days in an Airbnb there and they had a French press so we had French press coffee every morning it was so nice and I just loved the slow morning process of it boiling the water and then letting the coffee sit and then slowly steeping it it worked out really well because I actually had a company send me some ground coffee they sent me two types this is their Ethiopian roast and this is their Ecuadorian roast so we tried this one it was really good and today i think i'm gonna try this one both of these are from atlas coffee club i actually have a discount for you guys so i'll leave that in the description i think it's 25 percent off from what i read online you're supposed to do two heaping tablespoons for 400 milliliters of water and so that's kind of the measurement that i'm going for last time we did this together we put a little bit too much coffee and it was too strong. So I'm just going to go with this for now. 
finish boiling the water. You're not supposed to pour it in as soon as it's done boiling. You're supposed to let it sit for a little bit. I don't have a thermometer, so I can't exactly tell the temperature, but I'm just gonna give it like three to four minutes before I pour in the water. And then I'll show you guys um, where I go from there. Ended up pouring in an extra tablespoon of coffee just so that there's more room for you guys to see what I'm doing. So I let the water sit for a little bit and now I'm going to pour it over the coffee. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to fill it to 600 mLs because I put three tablespoons in. Once you've poured in the hot water, you're gonna take your plunger and then you're going to insert it into the top of the French press and you're gonna bring it down to right about where the top of the water is, right about there. And you're gonna leave it there for about three to four minutes and just let the coffee sit in the water for a few minutes before you push it all the way down to the bottom. Okay, now for the skillet, I'm gonna preheat my oven to 325. And I'm gonna be using this for the skillet. It's very straightforward. These are the ingredients and it's all pretty simple. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. I'm also gonna leave the original recipe in the description box in case you guys wanna follow along. skillet I accidentally just touched this tin without thinking and it's so hot <laughs> I think I maybe burnt my finger but anyway the skillet looks so good I am gonna let it completely cool off in the tin and then I'm gonna cut it in maybe an hour or so I just tried some because I've been trying to film more real style videos and also just be more proactive about filming on my iPhone so that when the vlog goes up I also have something to post on Instagram that's vertical instead of horizontal. But anyway, I forgot to show you guys, but it turned out really, really good. I'm so happy about it. Also, of course, as soon as I finish making <laughs> the skillet, my loaf tin arrives, but I'm so happy that I have this. I'm probably gonna bake my zucchini loaf later this week and then I'll put it in my next vlog. Okay guys, I am gonna start getting ready for my date night and for going to see Hamilton. So I'm gonna end off this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this little few days in my life video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.